All right, here's an SAT math trick for you. Anytime you see you're given an equation up top with a bunch of different variables like M, R, N, and P, what you're gonna wanna do is zoom out, just take a look at your answer choices and see if you're just asked to solve for what one of them equals. In this case, we see we're just asked to solve for what P is equal to. Okay, we also see that at the end of our question. So now we just have to rearrange and solve for P. Now, you may be looking at this equation thinking, man, that's a lot of numbers. That's gonna be tough to solve for P, but it really isn't because take a look at this. What if I was to say M equals one over two times p well in order to solve for p then i would just multiply each side by the reciprocal which is 2 over 1. now when i do that i see i'd just be left with 2 over 1 times m equals p well if we look at what we originally had we originally had m equals 1 over 2 times p now we see that all we did is we flipped what was in our denominator which i'm going to put in a box here and i'll put it in a green box so you can see it better all we did was flip what was in our denominator and now we put it in our numerator by m. Then we took what was in our numerator by p, which was a one, and we put it in our denominator by m. Okay, so all we did is we just flipped our numerator and our denominator and put it on the other side. So that's all we're gonna do here as well. We'll take our denominator right here next to p, and we'll take it and we'll put it up here in the numerator next to m. Next, we'll just take what was in our numerator next to p, and we put it in our denominator next to m. Okay, now all we gotta do is put a line through there, Okay, and now we have our answer. So now all I gotta do is look for which answer choice has this minus one in its numerator. I take a look, I see the only option with that minus one in its numerator is option B, therefore B is gonna be my answer. Okay, so I'll zoom out so you can see that full question real quick. Okay, zoom out a little bit more. So now you can see that full question. So you see how easy it is once you recognize that all you gotta do is flip your numerator and your denominator and put it on the other side, and that gets you your answer. So hopefully that was helpful.